Okay, guys, the season is here. College basketball, real games to talk about. I've been doing previews on the Wager Talk YouTube channel for a month. Team previews that you can still find on our channel. So please like and subscribe so we can continue to bring you these free picks, free previews, everything that we have on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. But it's now finally time to talk some real games. These free pick videos the last two weeks in football, I'm a perfect 6-0. and I've got six of them out this week, um, five football games, and then a basketball game we're going to talk about here. Uh, so hopefully we can get it done uh, on the hardwood as well. And head on over to my Wager Talk page and grab that full season all access. I'm up 48.19 units in college basketball the last two years. I'm already off to a winning start this season, two and one so far. I'll have best bets essentially every day, and I want you to cash along with me. So head on over to my page and just sign up for the full year. It's going to be a great season in college, too. All right, Army at Duke. I'm not going to talk about Duke here because you don't need me to tell you that Duke is awesome. Top 10 team, and even if they weren't, it wouldn't even matter here because we know that Army is not on their level. Um, and again, you don't, you don't need a breakdown to, to understand that. These two teams are are in very different sort of areas of college basketball. It's never going to be even close to an even matchup. Um, what you do need to know, though, is a couple of things. One, I can talk about Army. And two, I can talk about what the market has done in college hoop to this point that might generate a little value on the visitors here. So Duke, opening night, destroys Maine, 96-62. Game was on TV. Everyone watched. Everyone watched Duke win and cover one, I believe, by 34. So covered any number there. Um, Cooper flag looked great. Everyone just saw that. So this this number is only going to get bet one way, and, and that's toward Duke. So at the time we're filming this video, this is it's Thursday night. The lines just came out. We have a line 28 and a half. It's exactly where I make the number for this game. I think that line is correct. However. If you've been following along opening week, just about every huge favorite, every huge home favorite, every like 20 plus power conference home favorite has gotten bet up. And not only have they gotten bet up, but they're all covering with, with relative ease. So, I mean, you're talking these big 25, 30 point favorites are getting bet numbers moving anywhere between like two and five points. And then they're all winning and covering every number. So I can only imagine that this game is going to get bet the same way. And I'm, I'm really actually curious to see just how far this goes, you know, before some of the sharper betters step in and try to, and try to take some of these numbers, these big numbers, and, and oppose such large moves because they really, they, they really haven't yet. There hasn't really been a ton of buyback on a lot of these. And, be, and that, that's important here because you might see this thing move five points. And all of a sudden, if I'm sitting there at, at 31, 32, 33, I, I think you got to give Army some consideration. Um, because our Army is, there is some redeeming qualities to this team. And, and I think the market may just see Duke as a huge home favorite and say, you know what? Favorites have just been crushing everyone. Let's just send it in with another 28-point favorite that in reality should be a 28-point favorite, not a 33-point favorite in this game. So a couple things. One, I think Army is better than Maine. So just to, you, you've got a little bit of a barometer now. Maine comes out, loses by 34. Duke covers, but barely. I, I do think Army will be more you know, competitive than that. So if you want to give yourself a, a buy point, you know, I think if this approach 32, 33, I, I expect Army to give Duke a tougher game than Maine did. Now, Army... What a lot of people probably don't realize is Jalen Rucker is back on this team. And the, what, what happened there is a little bit confusing. Uh, he was on the team two years ago, was one of the best players in the Patriot League. I believe he tried to transfer or tried to, to enter the transfer portal or go to a different school. And you are not allowed to do that after a certain time at a service academy. So I think it's after two years. Um, I believe after two years, you, you fully commit to the service academy. Long story short, Rucker was not able to transfer. 
sat out last year, and now he's back at Army this year. Now, it's a different coach. Um, you know, Kevin Kuick is it was a first year coach last year. The Army decided to part ways with Jimmy Allen. He had a young team, but some of those young freshmen kind of panned out for Army, you know, especially toward the end of the season. Josh Scovins um, looked awesome last year toward the end of the year, and he came out on opening night, put up 22 in the win over Albany. Ryan Curry looked good. And so you've got two, you know, sort of freshmen that blossomed into double digit scores that are now, you know, starting alongside. An all-Patriot League player in Jalen Rucker. Jalen Rucker very well may win player of the year in the Patriot League, and that has not really been overhyped. So I definitely think you're getting a far more, like, skilled Army team than what was on the floor last year. And, and, and a guard in Jalen Rucker that, without a doubt, if he was allowed to leave Army, he would be playing at a bigger program right now, a more high-profile program. Um you know, somewhere else in the country. So I think right there, that's like some some maybe underlying value on Army that that's not just going to be like known info. Now, again, it's still Duke. They're still probably going to pull away and win this game. But when you're handicapping a 30-point spread, it's really about, you know, does Army have avenues to be at all competitive here? And I do think the answer to that is yes. I talked about Rucker. He's a guy that, again, probably in a, a bigger conference at this point on a better team, if it wasn't for the, the sort of no, you know, no transfer type rule um, at Army. The other thing is Army's just better than they were last year. And, you know, I thought they were very impressive on opening night to get that win over Albany. That was, a, you know, Albany is a middle of the pack America East team this season. I, I think they're going to be very respectable. And that was a good win for Army. Um, you know, out rebounded Albany 41 to 34 in that game. They were 18 for 28 from the free throw line, which could be better. They were five for 17 from three, which should be better because this Army team, it's kind of in their, you know, their their MO a little bit is to shoot threes. And so I kind of expect them to shoot at a higher clip than five for 17. Um, at least they, you know, they kind of started to at times um last season, once again, once they started to get you know, kind of mature and, and freshmen started to become sophomores, so on and so forth. So where, no value at 28 and a half. I will give Army out as the free pick at 28 and a half. Um, but if this steams toward Duke, which I, I can just about guarantee it's going to, based on how these big favorites have been bet so far the first week of the season, there will be a, a point where I think you have to, to consider taking that huge number with Army. Um, I'll probably call it, let's call it 32. If this gets upward of 30 to 31, 32, uh, I think it's a pretty good bet to buy back on that. So I'm not going to quote a number here. We'll, we'll just call, the, call this Army plus the points at whatever the closing line is. Uh, but I do think Army is better than people think. And I wouldn't be surprised if they give a better result than Maine did against Duke and cover that big number on Friday night. Head on over to Wager Talk for all of my plays. Follow me on all platforms at Adam Trigger WT. We'll talk to you guys next time.